The views and opinions expressed on hashtag WTF Dumi do not necessarily reflect those of the public broadcaster nor Urban Brew Studios. All necessary precautions have been taken to minimize any bias or prejudice. I'm so convinced I'm completely getting this Halloween thing wrong. Good evening, South Africa. Before we get into the naughty, sadly 2018 has claimed yet another artist. Condolences to the family and friends of Sivan Dalan actress Shireen Swart, who added spark to the acting world. Your presence on TV will be missed. Halloween, Mzansi, Halloween. Now, let us get into crazy creatures. One creature that is not having peace today is the Saint Bernard who tried to make friends with a porcupine and instantly regretted it. Mm -hmm, shame. Well, one of the moral of the story here is never befriend a prick. <laughs> and staying with weird animal behavior, police officers down under have saved a kangaroo from drowning in the sea after it decided to go for a swim. A swim! Stoppy Lori, is that kangaroo having an identity crisis? Because, uh, Skippy, you're a masupial, not a fish, ne? And speaking of Skippy, people in Rome had to do just that when an escalator collapsed during uh, injuring dozens recently. Now, that story escalated very quickly. It did definitely escalate quickly. They do say all roads lead to Rome, just unfortunately not this escalator. <laughs> You know, Glenn, you've got to be careful where you roam nowadays. <laughs> well, I just, you know, hope that they take their time with the investigation because, you know, Rome wasn't built in one day. <laughs> oh, by the way, when I, Glenn, did you hear that the speaker announced that Patricia DeLille resigned? You are lying. Speaker, you are talking absolute <laughs> rubbish. Seriously, if I have to tell you again, is, is a lying speaker... No, but... this speakers are full of stories. We have a great show tonight. Stars from the upcoming movie Frank and Fearless, Leon Schuster and Temba Tuli will be joining us, as well as Jimmy Nevis, who will be closing off the show. But first things first, Glanzita. What is the WTF of the day? Ha, ha, ha. Thanks to me. And good evening to everyone in this lovely land we call Mzansi. The WTF of the day today is, what's that, Fiddy? In one of the weirdest instances of all beef ever, rapper 50 Cents uh, bought out 200 seats at Ja Rule's concert just to be petty, I guess. I mean, talk about putting effort into beef. Guys, no wonder he got shot nine times with that behavior, huh? <laughs> Hang on a second, though, Tooms. <laughs> Didn't Casper Nyoves perform to 17 people in Limpopo this weekend? Is that a yeah, coincidence? Yeah, well, I think it's not a coincidence. Well, but now this has Benny Mayangani written all over it. My first guest, ladies and gentlemen, is an award-winning actor and filmmaker. Ladies and gentlemen, he needs no introduction. Leon Schuster. <laughs> Please spend the 
Lekker, lekker, lekker boes. Ziggy, ziggy, ziggy! Hoi, hoi, hoi! Vind daar, vind daar wie! Hoi, hoi, hoi! Vind daar wie, Leon! Hoi, ziggy! Hoi, ziggy, ziggy, ziggy! Hoi, hoi, hoi! Die bokke is boer! Spin the wheel, please, Leon. Okay, okay. Be gentle okay. with her. You can go counterclockwise since it's Halloween. Okay. Please grab a seat yeah. while the wind spills and stops. Must I grab a seat? Please grab one. Be comfortable. <laughs> Glenn! <Okay. laughs> well, the show has clearly begun. Glenn, uh, what is our comedian drinking? So. In my, in my opinion, uh, Leon Schuster is like the 007 of our industry. He's got a license to do whatever the hell he wants. He's been forgiven for absolutely anything. It's a, it's a magic spell that he says. All he has to do is pull off a wig and go, And then he just gets forgiven. So yes. I have called this drink, Yanir, um, this um, Leon, uh, because how it works is how you... Oh, between down it and gotcha what do you think glenn down it or gotcha what do you I want think it to gotcha be? gotcha right gotcha. gotcha you have to show us the fourth last saved picture on your camera roll where's your phone the fourth last saved fourth picture. fourth last saved picture uh, okay let me just quickly i'm not very clever with i can uh, take your phone media. For there's you. there's one there's the third fourth okay fourth last picture to whom must i show it yeah, to you showing to me and yeah. i'm going to Oh my word, who's that? That's me. Is that you on graduation day? Graduation yeah. day. Can we please look at this? He was a vanilla snack. Uh, camera, are you seeing this or must I take it away? Are you satisfied? Is the world seeing what Timmy is seeing? Heaven, Leon, you didn't have trouble with uh, getting lucky. I can see there was even a bit of a charm in the eyes. There. Yeah, no, I was a young romantic boy. Key. Now I'm older than the Dead Sea. <laughs> <laughs> Were you faithful? <laughs> Were you faithful or did you break hearts? No, I had a few girlfriends, but I was more into rugby than anything else at oh. school and at university, yeah. So that was your first love? My first love to this day <laughs> is my love in my life. And then... My mother, who's 97 years old, Yo. and my chummies and rugby. Rugby plays a major part in my life. I yeah. never miss a game. I know quite a lot about rugby. I played one game for the Free State, hey. and uh, I never got my colours because you have to play three games to get your colours. I was a hooker, but not the <laughs> not not the not the type of hookers that uh, that was swim, that that swim that the swim. sidewalk in Venice. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. I was a hooker, and I was—I had a very fast foot. They called me the fo fa fastest foot in the West. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Was yeah. this was this fast foot running away from the girls? Because I mean, look at how adorable you were as well, man. Look at that, George. Oh, oh where did my. that come from? How old were you there? <laughs> no, there I was like five. Oh my yeah. word. <laughs> okay, but now you've already mentioned your many girlfriends. Let's see, let's see if he's making this up or. Yeah, no, we can see you were you were never shot of a. That, that was my uh, university date. Okay. A house function. Okay. And I dated her for the function. Yeah. You dated her just for the function, and then you were finished after the function. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same girl here? No, that's another one. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. Leon. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Casanova. Is there more? <laughs> yeah, man. I want to get to one. Okay, go on. There's, Is there more? Do we there's have one more? with an actress that's with me when I was at university and she's still acting today. Oh! Uh, but I don't know if they oh, can find it. I don't know if it. we have that picture. Is that, is that all you've got there? It seems that's all we have. Have you got... Uh, 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 so are you still friends with her? The one who's still there? Uh, no, not at all. She's old now, man. She's like... Ah, so nearly, when they're old, you discard nearly, them. It's Listen to Leon. I know she's <laughs> old. Well, let's go I'm, for an ad break while Leon deals with the women he's already <laughs> 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 We'll be back. <laughs> Don't 
don't forget to hit us up on the socials. I see you're already hitting us up and leave, feeling the show. Uh, Mataps Tracy says, I mean, you guys are always spot on and without a doubt amazing. But today you're on another level of amazing. Thanks. Woo, Glenn Biederman Pam. Uh, Ntibanda Tuto Joel says, at Lidabin Pam, you just pranked the master of it all. Thank you That's very much. That's a way to start a show. Thank you very much. It's been my dream to do that. Yeah, well, fact, I'll give you points, but I am going to get you. Back. Okay. That's a ch challenge accepted. I, I was going to say, of all the people you want to prank. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, what, just speaking of, of pranks, off the bat, off the top of your head, best prank, the one that stands out the most out of all the all the pranks for you i know you've been asked it just for me please tell me i think the one that was the most dangerous and the most spoken of was when that guy hit me with a fist mm. at the filling station when i was mucking up his windscreen yes. Yes. he really hit me like a boxer oh my god he, i had a, a, a implant here that that came Loose out ah. of its casing, no way. and then I swallowed the thing because ah. I was unconscious for like 40, 40 seconds, and I swallowed it. And that bloody thing is expensive. Man. You know what that <laughs> so did you wait to poop it out? I got it out, but I never put it back. <laughs> <laughs> but spe speaking, that was the one that stands out for me. Yeah, uh, and the one where Rob. Uh, what's Rob? Van Furen. Rob Van Furen, where he got you, out. yes. That was a brilliant, brilliant, it was like tonight. I just, it was the least expected ever in my life. So was that not, you had no idea? Absolutely no. I, I pitied the poor guy because he was pathetic, man. <laughs> he was talking to his wife on the phone. Listen, our doggy is going to die and I'm not there. And I'm, I'm to take him to the vet. And I, I went to the producers. I said, I'm not doing this guy. I'm not pranking him. He's traumatized. Yeah. No, do it, Leon. Do it, do it. And then when he attacked the guy that yeah. was walking uh. fast, he hit that oak. Yeah. He got him down yeah, he sold in, in, it, the, eh? in the flower yeah. bed there. Yeah. He was pumping him. <laughs> I said, Rob, please, just stop this, Rob, stop this. It's going to be in the bloody news and <laughs> I, I'm causing all of this. Stop this. I said, you stupid. You call yourself funny. That's not a funny prank. That's a nasty prank. And I'm going to sue you and I'm going to see that you get nailed for this by the press. I said, Rob, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rob, I'm sorry. I was pathetic, you know. And I kept on, Rob, I'm sorry. And I started taking off my fat suit because I was sweating oh, like shame. an old donkey, you know. <laughs> and I took off my brooks and I said, Rob, I'm sorry. And, and then the producer came running yeah. and whispered into my eye, Leon, you've been shucks. I just could not. That was the, that was the best moment ever yeah. on camera of I my face that. there. Yeah. I yeah. couldn't believe that this happened to me. You can't act that. I'm actually a sucker for punishment. How, however I like uh, pranking, yeah. I get pranked very, very easily. You know why? Because I trust my fellow human being. Ah. That's why. Is that why they keep killing you all the time? Because, yeah. I mean, we keep <laughs> reading your dead, and then there you are. Yeah. That's like, why I don't want to... You know what? I don't really want to do prank movies anymore. Yeah. I want to do movies like this one I just did now, Frank and Fearless, which is a narrative with a beautiful story, yeah. with beautiful characters. Because pranking in Gauteng especially is a dangerous now job. A dangerous I've thing. had guns pointed at me. I've had threats of we're going to kill you. <clears throat> um, I've had more clubs than I can remember. And, and I'm scared that one day my epitaph on my tombstone will read, Leon Schuster couldn't take the last club. And I don't <laughs> want that. I don't want that. So I'm, I'm very wary of making another candid camera type movie in Gauteng. Yeah. But I like working in Cape Town. Yeah. Those people are like They're a, chilled, eh? There's something yeah, they in the water. And they re relax, you know. They, they just don't get worked up like these. No, days. but after the drought, they're not as relaxed. No, 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 like, no, now no. I saw they can get serious. Yeah, hey, they, they, were, hey. they, they can stress hey, now after, hey. the, after the you drought. You start playing good. with water, they're on you. Absolutely. But you mentioned being scared of press. Now let's talk about this headline. I won't go blackface now. It's just racist, Leon Schuster. Were they really quoting you or are they putting words in your mouth? You know, to a certain extent, she put words in my mouth there. But I just want to say one thing. Mm. In all the years of doing what I'm doing. Mm. I have never had one black person come to me and say, listen, you're racist for doing blackface. I made a beautiful movie with a beautiful moving story 
uh, called Mama Jack. And there was no malice in that. It was just me playing a domestic worker. Mm. And domestic workers in South Africa are mainly black. Mm. So this thing uh, blew over from America about yes. blackface. Face, yeah. And then I said, okay, if it's that bad, then I won't do it again. Okay. But I was dying to do another Mama Jack. You know, I must tell you a story. Um, Steve Hoffmeyer and myself, years ago, was invited to Zuma's house for a braai. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, it was a, a group of political analysts, and I'm not an analyst, I'm an ass, uh, and, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, just, I, I'm, I'm just a movie maker. And Zuma, yes. I stood at the braai, and Zuma came towards me and he uh, said, Leon, you know what, I am in love with Mama Jack. And I said, uh, Mr. Zuma, I stood with my back across the door. <laughs> I am not, I am not Mama Jack, <laughs> Leon. Don't, don't get thoughts here. Don't get thoughts here. So, you know, the people, the black people, the mamas in pick and pay, they come they for selfies. They love for and Jack. then we sing together. They know the songs because they, they watch the movie so many times. Then we sing Mama Jack, Mama Jack. Well, what? She's saying, she is beautiful, cute and black. He's Mama taking us back. Jack, He's taking Mama us back. Jack. She's got both, and that's a fact. Uh, also, okay. <laughs> On that nostalgic note, what's your TBT, Glenn? Thanks, Matumza. The Take Me Back Tuesday today is the interestingly shaped hurricane Walaka that struck the United States earlier this month. Um, Talk about an interesting, or shall we say, stiff wind. I think they should definitely, maybe even possibly call that uh, Hurricane Gigabyte. Yeah, wow. Maybe that was also nature's message to the U.S. right now, that maybe you're screwed. Because <laughs> it's, because it's, okay. My next guest is also a star in Frank and Fearless. Please welcome Temban Tuli. <laughs> And Glenn, what is Temba drinking? So they say dynamite comes in small packages. Uh, Temba's talent is exactly that. So I have called this drink liquid dynamite. Nice. Right there. <laughs> Enjoy it, sir. Drink alcohol now. I'm offended, by the way. <laughs> Just so you know. Don't you wait, worry. What is, wait. <laughs> 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 Is it too strong? <coughs> a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I've, got a, I've got much more where that came from. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it's not done strip down. You need to strip down. No? You need to strip down. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you do this on purpose? No. no you spun the, the wheel. wheel. You, you're the one who spun it. Okay, this is very nice, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what happened to... Oh, okay, that'll help him strip down. Um... Any item. Go with the shirt. Let's take go with the shirt. It Let's keep it. Take, take, it, it, up. take, take it up. 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 Why do I feel so dirty doing that? So my mom taught me well. So dude, are you in Tuli or Mnube? Like, are you in Tuli or Mnube? In Tuli, in Tuli or Mnube, you know how we are black folks. We got like double barrels everywhere. Oh, they were fighting over you and you're like, let's stop the fight. You can both have me. Yes. Ah, all right. So it's Ntuli Gamnube actually. Oh, there's yeah. a car missing in between. Ka, yeah. Oh, there, so, so you're the Ngube of the? I am the Ngube of the Ntuli. You're the Ngube of the Ntuli? Yeah. I have no idea I'm what's going so on. I'm also so lost right now. It's a black thing. I think, <laughs> yeah. I, just, I, think I just lost my black card. <laughs> I, I don't get my black card at all. So, have you managed to shake off the Pule character? <sighs> I think I've outgrown it, not physically, you know, but yeah. like, yeah, you know, over the years, <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, a lot of people can still resonate with my character from back then, yeah. which I really enjoyed, and I will be honest today, you know, the saddest thing, 
that I was told I couldn't continue with the character because I didn't grow. I was like, no <laughs> matter what must happen, you know, like, this is all I'm going to be. You yeah, know? This is yeah, how I've been yeah. created. So it was a bit sad, but I. Ah, so. you're doing good, my friend. Oh, uh, thanks, Leon. Thank you so much. I want to know, um, what, do you, how, I know he's right next to you, but what was it like to work with Leon, and be honest, please. Mm. It was terrible. I mean, um, <laughs> some of the, I'm joking, no, it was incredible. <laughs> um, I think for me, I remember my mom once told me a story that while, while, while I started my journey as an actor, she said I once wrote to, um, I, I think there was a competition for someone to be in Leon's show or in one of his movies or something like that, and it never happened. And my mom was sad for a long time. And I remember the first day, sorry, that I told her that I'm gonna be working on a film with Schuster. <laughs> you should have seen her. She's like, oh, I wrote a long time ago. And you know, it was, it was something that was really, really amazing. And getting to work with this, I think though I got like, I got like the, the last end of him, you know, like the, <laughs> you know, that, that, you know, that, that tonu, that last swallow that bit. That last little yeah, man. That just, but that's the best bit to get, most that tonu. It's like the last roll yeah. <laughs> got the last roll of Leon. But it was fantastic. Is, we had a great time. Is that what make you made you take the gig? Were you like, my mother loves this guy. She will put me in the will by myself <laughs> if I take this gig. Or was I, it paying really well? I well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> let's just say it's the best of both worlds. <laughs> but I think for me, it was it was truly an honor because he has built such a, a great name for himself. Yeah. And you know, when I used to watch uh, Sweet and Short, watching him and Alfred, I was like, I'm like a double Alfred, like you know, times two. You know. <laughs> and so you're Alfred 2.0. Uh, uh, Alfred 2.0. But okay. you know, like wh when you used to watch uh, Mike Myers. What was his movie? The Spider Chat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dr. Yeah. Evil. Dr. Evil. Uh, yeah. And that little. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I'm like that guy, but the good guy of that guy. Ah, yeah. So I when, when, I, when I got to take on the role, I think it was firstly an honor for me to do it. Um, I was excited also to make it through the audition because yeah. people think you just like, eh, let us pick out of a box. Okay, you are casted. No. You know, you still have to work hard. You still have to audition. You have to go through the process. And I just have to thank him and Gray Hoffmeyer for believing that I could do what they wanted me to do for the film. Well, yeah. on that emotional note, <laughs> let's take an ad break. We have more from our guests when we come back, including a game of charades. to pizza. No, why? Why did you eat our money? You've got to poop it out now. <laughs> and we're back. This is hashtag WTF to me on SABC3. Intriguing trailer of Leon Schuster's new film, Frank and Fearless. We're hanging out with Leon and Temba. Timber, what's your favorite thing about that character, Fearless? I think my favorite thing about that character is that he's very fearless. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but also performing with a dog was my first time ever. Okay. And that was so challenging, but yet so interesting. Why? Are you a person of the soil who's afraid of dogs? I love dogs. So had, why was I, it a shalom? I had a pit bull. It was a shalom. You had a pit bull? Yes. Why? Because I love it. Oh, I'm just. Anyway, <laughs> so tell us about the dog in the movie, and then so you I played with Adam, um, who was you know my compatriot yes. in the movie, Your and kid. it was it was so challenging because the first thing is a, an animal is an animal. So you say, okay, couple of takes, you want to do this, and after a while, Adam's like, yo, I am tired, I am out of this game, 
you know, you can feed him however much you want. And he's just like, I'm just sleeping and that's what's happening. Yeah. You know, but also it's, it, he's, a, he's a very good dog. He's a very smart dog. So I love dogs. Yeah. So I think that that, that interaction with, with me and, and playing that role of fearless was just super, super awesome. Mm. I enjoyed that. Leon, uh, can, can you tell us a little bit about your guys' relationship in the film? You know, when I auditioned him at my house, I never knew of this guy. When I saw him, when I first lay my eyes on him, I just saw a sparkle in these eyes that I've never seen in anyone before. <laughs> and I just had this gut feeling that this is a precious, good, God-fearing person. That's the impression I got. And I, I can remember I was sitting down and he was standing here doing the audition and Gray was feeding you the words, our yeah. director. And he's acting capability just knocked me over completely. I thought, but this cannot be true yeah. because this guy is just a born natural actor. And I, be I became fearful because I <laughs> thought this Oki is going to put me in the bloody shadow <laughs> because he's going to be the star of the movie. Yeah. But the movie was written that way. Fearless starts off as being a fearful young boy. Yeah. He's scared of everything. Mm. And du during the course of this movie, that's what's so nice about writing this type yeah. of stuff. He grows in stature. Yeah. Mm. He gets more confident. Mm. He gets stronger. Mm. He even craps on my head because I, I'm, a, I'm a bad guy in this yeah. movie, man. Sonny is a fun character, but he's, he's not, his it. intentions are wrong. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a liar. He tells stories that Fearless believes so. until Fearless one day says, sees this guy is a bloody cheat. And that moment where we split and I leave him alone in the big city that night, I had a tear in my eye for his reaction. Yeah. That, I think one of his very strong qualities is he can make you laugh, but... Make he cry. can make you cry. Yeah. That scene in the movie where the mama rhino gets murdered and the baby rhino is left alone and he uh, has befriended the little baby rhino that's now an orphan. Rhino. That scene where we see the, the killed mama yeah. and he sees her, that oh, scene... Oh, no. That scene... Make can, we, can we cut to ad break? Because it's gone black in the studio. Guys? Guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me at the top? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you? I'm gonna go. Home. <laughs> no, no. You're gonna, you're gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> oh, 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 that's so scary! Oh my gosh, I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Oh wow! I did not see that coming. Wow! Oh, I did not see that coming. Oh, okay. Wow. Is he the white face? <laughs> okay. By the face. He's doing... Oh my God! Can we just play charades? Because everything else is not fun. <laughs> <laughs>Oh, okay. I promise you, I, did, I, had, I didn't know anything yeah. about that, guys. Anyway, we're playing a game called Charades, dudes, okay? It's very simple. There will be words that come up on those screens over there, all right? And uh, your partner has to try and act the word out without the, saying anything, and your partner has to guess it, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay? So I'll go with o Leon. Uh, you and Temba together, Tums. Uh, okay. So, Leon, Should take your place first? there. Yeah, let's go first so we can take your place at the podium there, sir. <laughs> I don't Good luck see the word, eh? You don't see it. I see it. I act it out to you. All right, we've got 30 seconds. Oh, where do I go? Oh, you here. There. All right. Okay. Oh, shucks. Am I supposed to... It's is, okay. Is he going to act out the word? I'm acting out for you. He's acting for Tumi. Oh. Okay. No, man, not we're acting out... Oh, you acting out the word on the... Yes. Oh. How many times have we played Okay, this? sorry. Start. Start, Clint. Start. Okay. Okay. Uh, Leon, we've got 30 seconds. Okay. You're no. stroking your dog. You got it. Huh? The... You one word. Uh, dog. No. Uh, washing, showering, cleaning your... Uh, uh, tickling a girl's back. You did say it. You did say it earlier. Do dog, dog whisperer. <laughs> Cutting your dog's hair. <laughs> stroke. I mean, he said it. He's not stroking. Said stroking, we we'll get half a point. Okay. okay. What, 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 what? It was stroke. What? Stroke. Oh, stroke. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm so you did say it. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. I, I just you. did this for 30 seconds. Okay, enough. Okay, sorry. Ready and action. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Hulk? 
um, dancing. Indian. Godzilla. Chinese. Dragon. Dragon. You getting that? Green tea. Um. Shaolin. Ping pong. Oh. <laughs> Bang Bangkok. Bangkok. Not easy. Why don't you just hit your? There's an idiot. You Why don't you just bang your <laughs> cock? <laughs> what? You could have just banged your cock. I'm innocent. I don't know these we things. We swapped. Really, oh, you, you, really. <laughs> Go over there. Go over there. That's I'm feeling done. so let down right now. Okay. Tempa, I believe in you. Half we can point. do this. Half a point. Can you ha see me? <laughs> half a point. No, I'm, okay, not ready. I'm not that short. I'm ready. And Leon, go. Okay. Okay. I haven't seen anything yet. For Leon, can you give Leon his word, please? Action. <laughs> Penguin. Okay, zombie. <laughs> uh, um. uh, okay, is it an, an animal? Da, 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 okay, da, da. ballet, ballet. Yeah, yes. yes. No, Thank you don't you. got it. No, you don't got it. Is that wrong? Keep going, yeah, Leon. Oh, ballet, ballet, dancer, <laughs> ballet singer, ballet show, ballet, <laughs> ballet skirt, ballet. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> ballet dance. <laughs> Ballerina. Ballerina. Tell me, this is our moment. Let's go. Give me that word. Give me that word. Give me that word. Give me that word. Half a point. Oh, oh. Uh, Catholic. Roman Catholic. Don't help. Praying. Uh, uh, um. Leon, no help. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, thank you. Roman Catholic priest. What? Pope. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> what? what was it? Desmond Tutu. Desmond. Uh, what? Uh, because you can't, you can't speak. <laughs> you should have gone. Tutu. Tutu, I tried that, yeah, yeah, but he yeah. was going. I think I we won that by a half a point. You yeah. won by half a point. Thank you. Um, right, it's time for another ad break. We'll check out some of your tweets when we come back. <laughs> Can you hear me now, Mzansi? I was just saying, welcome terug, and thank you for Ali Leaf, the Opie Socials. Let's check out your tweets. Let us see this. They're saying Leon Schuster once swallowed his tooth. That punch he got was from hell. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> that is Lando. Kila uh, Bukhile says, Tempa hasn't been on the show for more than five minutes, but I've already laughed so much. Love him. Then make sure you watch the movie Choma so you can laugh proper. <laughs> uh, Zama says, I'd leave him in Pam. It seems you have competition. Schuster has moves. He has got moves. Yeah, he does. He, he does. does. If, if you can you dance to Hikomi Boka, <laughs> you, Listen, you, you know you got moves. Speaking of which, Leon, um, you know the first uh, CD I ever had of yours as a child was uh, um, it was it was a music one that had that song on it, it had Here Come the Boca. Yes. But my favorite song there was Ik is by je liever na me. Ik is by je liever na me. Elke dag is ek haar kwaad, maar ek wil sê kwaad, play maar sê kandy. En ek is by je, by je liever na me. What happened to the music, well Leon? Thank you. What happened to the music? Uh, well, in the past three years, three, four years, it was this movie only. There was just no time. I actually disappeared from the entertainment scene for a long time because we battled with a script. It's, yeah. it's difficult to make a movie about saving the rhino and, and make a comedy yeah. with that theme. But obviously, we knew we had to play this very carefully so the two don't, they don't bump yes. mm. their aside. Yeah. I'm basically the coat hanger where the comedy is hung on. He drives the story, he gives the drama, the melodrama. He's the guy, as I said, that makes you cry. 
and um, is, is, is in a difficult situation at the end of the movie that's going to make the poor kids go crazy because uh, I, I won't give anything away. It's just, you know what, it's a great adventure, this yeah. movie. Yeah. It's for people from 8 to 80. It's, there's something for everyone. There's heart, yeah. but there's laughs, there's slapstick. Um, there's a big scene at the end where I basically prank this bunch of uh, rhino poachers while he is in a death-threatening situation. So I want to get them out of the way so I can get to Fearless and save his life, sure. which, which is a very, very dramatic scene. Yeah. That's not comedy. But Leon, when are you going to give away a lot of the movie? I, there's so many spoiler alerts. He's just, he's just out there. He's just out there, Baba. Hi, <laughs> <Ay>, man. <laughs> Listen, we're going to take a quick ad break while I sort out my little technicals, and we'll be back. Jimmy Nevis will be joining us very soon. We sorted out our technicals. We're going to quickly go into a game of wordgasm because we love playing. All right, Timber, are you ready? I'm I am going to, I'm going to, so the way this works, Glenn, is? Yeah, there are words behind these numbers. You have to choose a number. There are three words behind it. We take the number. We try to explain the, the, the words behind it like without saying, like 30 seconds. Okay. Are you ready? Pick a number. Seven. You've got 30 seconds. Your time Seven. starts now. A <coughs> bang. I will oh, I can talk. He bangs a gavel and he tells you you're going to jail. Um, when people exercise a lot and they are of good health, they are? Fit. Yes. Um, uh, it's time for Africa. Uh, waka waka eh. Um, what is it, that thing? Trophy of the, of the universe. Yeah. Universe trophy, but it's called a? It's for everyone. It's the soccer one. We hosted oh, it. Oh, FIFA World Cup. Yes. Well done. That's three. Okay. Okay. Time. Your turn. All right, uh, Leon, any number, sir? Uh, number, number four. Four, okay, here we go. Ready, time. Lock in. <coughs> okay, uh, they all gather together in parliament. What are they called? Par parliamentarian. No, the other, the, the, like Malusi Gigav is a? <laughs> Politician. Yes, okay. Um, uh, okay, so uh western province uh number 10 uh his first name was uh like if you so if a, a small if a a, 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 a a small child plays with a his, his name is willem sir no no <laughs> from a few years ago oh, oh, oh. dolly why did you just say parton he'll know dolly parton your turn guys dolly. Go in no, something dolly oh. lucinda dolly oh, okay oh, I okay said all right Robin. my was, number oh okay i'll take six six uh, okay, 30 seconds starts now. Leon, watch your mic pack. Here's yeah. the season what to be by that? Christmas what Day. Day. Christmas okay, Day. but be Christmas Eve. Yes, okay. Uh, what about my one shire? Who has gone? Go! Who is that person who does that? The striker. Yeah, boy. Well done. Uh, dancing. Tap dancing. Oh, take another nice. number. Take another number. Which one? Anyone, anyone. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, no, 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 and they all go in. Raka! Oh! And they pray. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Leon, you can't be cheering for the other team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. When they say rugby, I just. <laughs> I told you we're coming back. Okay, number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. There we go. And clock in. <laughs> um. Give me your money. Give me more money. Give uh, me more money. Uh, more and more. Jacob and more. Zuma. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and criminal. Uh, 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 basically, I, I milk you for your money and then I don't man. give you service. The tax man. Tax, <laughs> sauce, sauce. Sauce, right, yes. right, okay. right. <laughs> uh, ring, ring, ring. The Olympics. Yes. Yes. Uh, Come on, Leon. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nyope. Dakar. 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 Dakar.
Okay. Uh, <laughs> weed, weed. No, no. Marijuana. <laughs> no. That's the right. No, no. But Club. why do they do this in the gay? Uh, in the bar. Uh -huh. Pub. What is it? Uh, ghetto. Oh, ghetto. Ghetto. Oh. Wow. Well. Wow. So these guys have lost horribly. They're gonna have to down shot. <laughs> Glenn is gonna go and speak to Jimmy Nevis before we close the show. Over to you, Glenn. Thank you very much, Tooms. Jimmy, welcome to the show. What's Hello, up? and how are you doing, sir? Good, 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 good to have you. Yeah. There is a drink somewhere back there. Okay. I can. I'm very professional. I can just lean over and yeah. and and. And grab it. There it is. You see, we're very nice, professional. Nice. No, now listen to me. I, your, your, your surname can very easily be mispronounced uh, or misheard. Yeah. Uh, Nevas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you a, quite a cool, calm, confident guy or are you a little bit Nevas? I'm, I'm super calm, but I feel like it could, it could bite me. I don't know. Okay, good, yeah. good answer. I'm glad yeah. you've really uh, you've opened up to us today. Um, so you wrapped <laughs> a show at Gold Reef City recently. How was, yeah. that? How was that? Was that the Lyric Theatre? Uh, yes, Lyric Theatre, it was awesome, you know, I think every time I get to perform in Johannesburg, like, connect with the people, uh, promote my new album, so it was great, it was fun, uh, didn't get to go on any rides, but okay. I mean, it was still good. I mean, the stage is kind of a ride in itself, isn't it? I guess so, yeah. Uh, you, you were recently in Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. What was this picture about, please explain mm. to me, because, I mean, there are... There are sweet oh. things in that picture, and I'm. I'm they are su the, the sweetest things. Actually, I'm, I'm yeah. not just talking yeah. about the one in the cap. Um, <laughs> was, that, was that a, a little, a little yeah. someone, someone that you? Uh... Nah, we, we were just we were both on the camp, you know. Um, right. And uh, we wrote this phenomenal song, which I can't wait to share with the world. Is that going to be tonight? That's definitely not going to be tonight. No, but I'm going to do another phenomenal track uh, called "Feel Something." Yes. Tell yeah. me about that. Where did that is yeah. that? Where did that come from? Um, this one, I think it's, it's the, the opening song to my album and it's really, you know, something that's really hardcore and to the point it's, it's one of the most honest songs I've ever written so it was quite cool to kind of like put the whole thing together and yeah. Live performance, I mean, how do you deal with it? Mm -hmm. Are you, uh, do, do you usually have a band behind you? Uh, yeah. what, what's, what's that like? Is it just you? Yeah, it depends, you know, I, I usually have my band with me. Um, and we do like, um, you know, I play keys as well and stuff. So my show is quite versatile and it really depends. But yeah, we have track, we have band, we have bass, guitar, the whole works. The whole works. So it's yeah. not just you. And then the, the album called Chimera. 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 Close. Sorry, I, yeah. went, I went full African. <laughs> it's only quarter to African. Yeah. Um, wh where did that name yeah. come from? What does it mean? Chimera lends itself to Greek mythology and speaks about being interspecied. And for me, I feel like that, you know, not only my journey, but I feel like as South Africans, you know, we're intercultured, very diverse people. So from, you know, uh, there was inter, inter, you know, influenced right. type of sounds involved in the making of the album. And 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 uh, feel so feeling something. Yeah. Is 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 on the album. Yeah, it's the current single that we're we, pushing now. We're hearing it tonight. Yes. I'm gonna let you warm up those vocal cords. Thank you. Uh, I apologize if I don't dance. I do have a gammy knee at the moment, but All I will good. be bobbing All my good. head. I yeah. promise you. Go and get yourself ready, Tooms. <laughs> Wrap us up, babes. And clearly Glenn never heard that they say, shake it, do not break it. He broke it. Thank you, Glenn. A big thanks to my guests, Leon Schuster and Tempan Tuli. Make sure you catch Frank and Fearless out at the cinema on the 23rd of November. Glenn and I are back next week to close off the show. Here is Jimmy Nevis with Feel Something. Good night. I wish that I didn't miss you Wish I could ignore your calls It's harder when you're older Cause breaking up feels like divorce Now I have to restart But I don't know where to begin If it means you could love me for a bit mm. If I'm gonna crash, might as well be amazing If I'm gonna jump, let it be from the Empire State I just wanna feel something I just wanna feel something 
if I'm gonna drink, I'm drinking till tomorrow. If I'm gonna earn, I want battle scars and bullet holes. I just wanna feel something. Oh, I just wanna feel something. Yeah, yeah. I was losing 